is what our campsite looks like. Got the red strings right across the street from us. They're pit toilets. And it's got a faucet right there that you can use to get water. Um, basically, bear proof garbage cans. I think there's like 16 sites in this whole place. And up here on this upper level, there's more down below. And there's dispersed camping, which is free up above. These sites run five dollars a night if you have a national parks pass or so uh, you get them for half price so right now we're paying 250 a night we're staying here for 35 dollars for two weeks the maximum stay time is uh, 14 days I'll take you over and let you see uh, what the toilets look like inside. These are the entrances to the toilets. And these are very clean. They're cleaned every day. We use them other day, but we have a toilet in our camper that we use. And these are the trash receptacles. We got them on both ends. We had a bear come into our camp the first night, but uh, didn't do no damage. This is our uh, water faucet if we need it. We usually just come over and get the dog's water from it. And over through that way, there's some trails, and that's like the uh, campground swimming hole. I'll take you over there in a little bit, let you see it. And down that way, leads you to more campsites. You can rent them and park the car here and pack your stuff in if you want to be more remote. I'm going to walk over toward the swimming hole, if you can bear with me. There's several trails that go to it. This is the closest to my, my camp, so I thought I'd just take you this way. There used to be some old buildings up here, and I think they've tore them down. Maybe old campsites, I don't know. You can see there's concrete pads here. And then there's a whole building foundation right over in there. You probably can't see it. And, Right down here is the swimming hole. I've never used it, but uh, a lot of everybody else has. I don't think it's that deep. Probably maybe three, four feet deep. You can see where people has put rocks across it to hold the water back and dam it. It goes on up through there and this is native trout in this water I've yet to catch a trout I've only been one so uh, you're you can keep anything over seven inches but you have to use single hook, hook lures in this area this is absolutely a very beautiful place I didn't think a place like this existed in North Carolina. And then we'll walk over here. I'll let you see that uh, old house structure that I was talking about earlier. I don't know what this is. I think this is human. I don't think it was anything by an animal because it was just on that one side and I think this was just a human that did this
And here you can see this whole structure. It goes out around here. Down around. And it goes right here beside this tree. And back around through here. Back around. And then I'll clear over through here. And then we have this path that takes you down to other campsites. This is actually a pretty big area to stay at. But we're just about the only ones here besides that one camper that was across from us in the tent. Here's some more of the stream. This is below the swimming hole. And then over there, there's more campgrounds. These are the private and secluded ones where you, you want to be left alone. This is the place to come to. But the road is, I had to guess, three to four miles in from the main road of Highway 70. Maybe a little further. And Yeah, I would say further. I'd say about six miles. And then about three miles to four miles of dirt road to get in. Well, I think I'll end this video, and if I find more interesting stuff, I'll uh, take some more videos and post them. Alright, thanks for your time.